how you guys doing? So here to do your August reading. How is everybody? Thank you all so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, all that kind of stuff. Can you make sure that you hit the bell? Uh, we have to go through all this tour, sorry. Uh, but if you hit the bell and the like and the show all, because I do past life readings and stuff and other things that I've got coming up on YouTube as well. And also Angel Radio, if any of you are interested in the music, there seem to be channeling some videos and music that I put on the intros and things like that. Normally they come out and they are sometimes channeled messages for people, so keep an eye on those. Okay, so Taurus, how you doing? So we've got some channel messages for you, then we've got past, present, and then we've got your reading for August. Okay, um, but straight away I heard, um, bigger, uh, dream bigger, that was your message. Now, it wasn't, it, it was channeled, but it wasn't uh, like a, a catchphrase. It was uh, a message, and it was dream bigger, they're coming true. Okay, so whatever it is your dream is, it seems to be coming true, okay? Seems to be a lot of dream, like dreaming, 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 or you're dreamy. Someone's very dreamy. <laughs> like you could be dealing with a Piscean, maybe. They're very dreamy. I think that someone could have a Pisces moon sign. I think it's something to do with someone's eyes, is, is that they're very dreamy, okay? Um, greeny, also. I heard the name green or greeny. Okay, green. Also, eating green. A lot of you could eat green vegetables and things that you look... Me, I've actually I've got one on the stove. We've got to be very careful because it's, uh, it's going to take three quarters of an hour. But I make my own uh, broths, which is uh, soup out of vegetables and uh, fresh chicken. Um, but I am picking up a lot of that for you. Now, I also picked up on, very quickly, the chicken that crossed the road. It's something to do with like a dare, double dare, double dealing. Also hearing double dealing, double deuces, double, 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 double. Seeing that things are doubling up, double. So your work and stuff might be doubling up, okay? But I'm also picking up like double ganger, like ganging up. Someone had that before in a past reading. Like um, you could have something to do with Aries because I started to channel some things, but I think I was having a bit of an off day when I was trying to channel for them. And... Um, I don't know, because it, it was something to do with double double dealing and dealing. Like someone got caught, like a court or something. Because I'm picking up, right, that part of your channel message that I picked up very quickly was like a court. Right? Okay, Raven's Court. Okay, that did come through in Aries. Raven's Court. Okay, and it was something to do with a constant craving and being caught doing something now courting someone also is kind of like going steady with someone so i don't know where this energy is coming through for something rising in venus about being caught out for something like called out okay called out for something someone's going to call someone out and they're going to call their bluff and they're going to think okay you're bluffing i'm going to call you out okay so mm, that might come through a little bit later of what that court is Okay, so it, it could have something to do with a, a courtroom drama, courtroom drama, some kind of drama. Well, I'm also hearing angelic karma as well. Angelic karma, well, she's an old time uh, YouTube channel, right? So I'm hearing something angel, the angel, or maybe angel radio, <laughs> but angel, like angel, or you might have a YouTube something to do with angel, right? But it, it's like angelic or angel, something like that. Or oh, the name Angel, Angela, the name Angela. Glandula, also I'm picking up glandular fever for some people. Okay, glandular fever. Okay, so they're kind of saying something to do with like fever. Fever, like night fever, night fever. We don't the to do it. Okay, so some kind of like night fevers. Now dreams, also I'm picking up... Um, well, I'm picking up Jim Morrison. It always comes up dreams, watching each other narrowly. But watching your dreams or watching a dream, and it's something about, like, it's not there, but it is a dream of yours to have this thing. Okay, so I think that's kind of connecting to what I wrote. Now, not that one for the moment, but I put Love Street, which was Jim Morrison, which was, She lives on Love Street. Lingers long on Love Street. She has a house and garden. I would like to see what happens. Something to do with, okay, and what I put a ring around was ring a ring, <laughs> ring a ring, 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 ring. Something's to do with like ringing quite a lot. Like, I don't know if someone's got tinnitus 
or it's something to do with calling someone quite a lot, like always on the phone with someone, like calling and they're calling and they're calling, or you're answering your spiritual calling, right? But a house and a garden. Now, I think that's part of your dream, is is that you have this house and garden, right? And it, and because I'm picking up like a big estate of something, right? But I'm also picking up someone's in estate as well. I don't know why someone is in. Okay, in an estate, like an estate agent's, right? So if you don't work for an estate agent, you might be looking at an estate agent for a dream that you have of a big house and a big garden. Okay, that's definitely what they're saying. Love streak. So you're having a lucky streak and a love streak on love streak. Love streak. Sorry, it will come through. There's something else there to do with love and street. Love and street. A loving streak. Seems to be like uh, a lot of you are having this loving streak where, I don't know, astrology has just turned someone and they're kind of like, oh, I'm feeling a different way now. I'm feeling different than what I used to now. And I'm kind of, it, it's kind of like, <laughs> I mean, I would say women, but it sounds like that someone's getting like broody and they're kind of, moody and broody so it might have something to do with so it would be the women then so this would be your partner that's kind of i'm channeling from is yeah they're moody and broody and they're brooding over like their pregnancy mm, i was gonna say their period but <laughs> they're saying they're brooding over their pregnancy so whether there is a pregnancy or whether there isn't it is something to do with a woman's cycle and the men are kind of saying yeah i know you're getting broody and you're also getting moody because this dream is not yet uh, in, you know, it's in the future but it's not quite yet so don't get moody about it right I know that is is because it's a bit like my nest egg right and if it isn't really to do with like children it's just that thought and that dream that is seems to be coming into fruition of like later on in life we need to work hard now because we want a bigger house and a bigger home and we want a garden because it's definitely something to do with a garden a gardener a gardener Okay, so you might be interested in your gardener <laughs> or your parent gardener, uh, your parent guardian. They're saying something about a parent guardian, parent guardian. Right, so is that your stepdad? Someone has like a, because I'm picking up Steptoe and Son. Now that was an old British TV. Oh, my old, all you dirty old men. They were wheelers and dealers. There's still something to do with like dealing about double dealing and, and the Aries reading coming through. Um, but, uh, yeah, sorry, what was my channel going on? Uh, what was going on? You see, they're, they're, they're half giving me different, ah, uh, <laughs> half messages. What's going on? It's a little bit like, hello, 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 what's going on here then? And it feels like a parent guardian of stepdad or stepmum. That's just the message. Is saying, hello, hello, hello. Oh, so what's going on here then? And you're like, stop, keep checking up on us. Like, we're all right. We're trying to have a baby. <laughs> How old are these people? Are these your children? If they are, listen, I will channel for them as well. If they're part of your, if they're part of you, well, then they're part of me. So <laughs> we're part of everyone, um, apart from everyone. See, apart from everybody, well, apart from everyone, they all have this and I want it. It's kind of that message, like, well, apart from everybody, I seem to be the one, I seem to be the one, there's an omen for you. Let's see. Okay. So I was talking about Aries yesterday, and I was talking about my friend, and it's just all of a sudden, <laughs> that seems to be the Aries. <laughs> so I, I think a lot of you do have something to do with Aries, because trust me, all everything happens for a reason, Taurus. Well, in my belief, it really does, you know. And uh, I think that, yeah, yeah, whoa, you do. You have a connection somehow with Aries, right? Somehow with Aries. Mm. So this would be either Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And it's to do with family and a garden and a house, right? Where there's a bigger house, there's a bigger garden, or you already have a big house and a big garden. Something around those lines, and somehow it seems to be involving Aries, but I don't... Oh, I was going to say it doesn't involve Sun Sign, but it does. <laughs> because it's involving Leo, 
as well and family is what they're saying that it's involving leo and family or it's just the son so it's either your son or daughter so yeah so it is involving like children or families and it is to do with sons and so <laughs> Sons and Daughters, wow, that was an old TV program. Did anybody ever watch that, Sons and Daughters? It's a lot to do with, like, sun energy, Leo. But if it's not Leo, it's just the sun. And it's to do with family. And it's to do with gardens and houses and Love Street and family and children. And that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to go on to what I wrote, which was getting bored. But that came through eventually of getting aboard like I'm getting them on board so it is something to do with like I'm getting bored and I'm getting them on board because we're going on holiday bruv a lot of you could be like we're going on holiday this time like, oh, okay they're saying this time we're going on holiday this time we're going on holiday this time next year oh okay so <laughs> so some of you are going on holiday but some of you are like well we're going to be going on holiday this time next year meaning like you might have to work through this six week holidays that's coming up in the summer holidays and that you're like, well, I don't know. It feels like someone's either doing that and it is two messages of like some are going on holiday and some are like, well, I'm going to have to work through my holiday, but next year we're going to be doing it and we're going to be booking it this year for next year. Now, some of you, you're doing that anyway and you're going on holiday this year and you're actually booking ahead to go on holiday next year. Now, if you're not, I think the place that you go to if you're going on holiday that you might go there back there next year because I think it has something to do with like a wedding arrangement or like it's a uh, because they are saying that what's that that people that get married go on <laughs> I don't know I'm not married but what's that that people go on when they get married on their honeymoon honeymoon it's got something to do with like honeymoons dreams houses future future stuff mm, well i can see children being born i can i can actually see in the future children being born children being born into the family i, I think it's got a lot to do with family and children whatever this message is but I don't know if there's new additions, like there's a new addition to the family, or there will be. So that it's like step parent, step to son, step parent, a new addition to the family, meaning it's it's if involving you somehow, where it's to do with like ex partners, maybe. Uh, um, I don't know that you might witness that your step parent, which would be either your step mum or step dad, they have children and they're having children. Do you know what I mean? Or that their daughters and sons and daughters, they're probably going to have children. And so I am picking up judgment for a lot of you, which is everyone will say, oh, they're coming back for more. No, not always. No. Judgment is, is where you can meet people from the past, which is everybody, because we're all interconnected of soulmates, right? So through your experience, through judgment, I really am, wow, well, yeah, I'm picking up judgment, is, is that um, a lot of you will uh, experience newborn, newborn things, newborn ideas, newborn dreams, newborn contracts, uh, new, 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 oh, I'm also hearing no, 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 and I'm also picking up, yes, new, 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 no to the past, yes to the future, okay, so, but new, new was also Dipsy and Poe, which was children's programs as well, so it is to do with like broody children, new additions, step parents, people that you might see in your family grouping, soul group or actual physical family bloodline of having children. Yeah, that seems to be what we have. That seems to be like you live your life like a candle in the wind. Like you live your life like a candle in the wind, Diana. Wow, I miss Diana. What a conspiracy that's going on around the royal family at the moment, right? <laughs> well, it's not really. <laughs> but anyway, so let's see. So past. So show me what's been going on. Um, show me the past, the, the recent past. So we're, we're looking at August as a timeline. 
So show me what's been going on through July, July, August, July. Show me what's been going on with Taurus. Show me the energy. So you got two. So you've had a lot of decisions to make. You're at Lion Skate. <laughs> lion. You can have something to do with a lion, which is obviously Leo. Okay, so if I didn't show you, sorry, you've got the two of wands. That doesn't mean lion. <laughs> but to me, that's what I hear. Okay, so um, lion's caught. So someone got caught and it made me redirect my energy now of thinking, well, where do we go now on holiday? Where do we go? What do we do now? Okay. Someone does have like big adventurous dreams, like adventurous, they're very adventurous. Right. I also picked up on desperately seeking Susan. Now that was, what was that television program, right? Well, the name's Susan. Or Sue. Sue Lin. I'm also picking up Sue Lin. Or suing. Some of you could have been suing someone. Or like something's brewing. Because I picked up on vegetables and stuff. Yeah, still brewing. Uh, but brewing something. Brewing. Like broody or brewing. Okay. Broody or brewing. Broody. Those messages are coming through though, Taurus. I've got to say... Broody, moody, sort of, that kind of energy. Let's see what's been going on with Taurus in the past. Show me the past for Taurus. So this is the moment before, the present, which would always be the normal right away, and the moment after. Okay, show me what's been going on before with Taurus. Two. Everything is up in the air. Everything's been completely up in the air. You've got two and two. They come in two by two. Okay. But it's normally three by three. Things happen in threes, not in twos. Okay. So someone's stuck where everything was just completely up in the air. And it's like, well, we're just waiting for someone to land or we're waiting for this to land. Okay. We're waiting to land a deal as well. We're waiting for our boss to tell us where I've got to go. <laughs> you know. I think your boss, if you work obviously for a boss, that they've been up in the air with everything where work has just been, it's just waiting really, I think, waiting. Anticipation. Because in the past there's a, there's a choice that needs to be made and then in the same reflection of a card, there's still a choice that needs to be made. So we'll have to see what those choices have been about. Someone could be very choosy choosy like well I'm trying to choose yeah it is to do with children but again you've got a lot of um I don't know like negative positive kind of like stuck just page of swords really don't know you know the page of swords doesn't speak to people sometimes right so it might be like something's happened in the family with some of the children or brothers or sisters and they're kind of like they're halfway between like college and school and don't know which direction they're going in. And it's uh, I mean, if this is your love life and it's very difficult, then that's obviously because they don't know what they want. Right. Show me the past the Taurus. Actually, just show me what this two, because we're going to have to um, leave some space. It's something to do with, like, leave some space. Like, we're going to have to leave some space for it. So, yeah, because it is involving things not, didn't quite work out according to plan. Bored, boredom. You see, that's what I was picking up, boredom. Like, I'm bored. Like, you know, I wish someone would just make up their mind, or I wish I could just go out or just do something. But it seems to be, like, a lot of like, well, you're still not changed your mind. You're still not doing anything different. You're still doing exactly the same thing as what I've always done. I'm stuck in the same job and I'm stuck at the same direction of doing the same. <laughs> so if this is, or Shane, or, but if this is a partner, well, it's confused you because they don't know what they want. Like if you're not in relationship. Show me what this two of... Two of Pentacles is for. Soulmate, family. So your soulmate has been very confused. 
right? Well, I mean, it can be you. First person, you have to, you have to choose those ones. <laughs> but, uh, you know, which one, which person do I want? Do I want to move out from the family? And do I like, wait in order to go? Or if it's soulmate, do I wait for the soulmate where that never really went anywhere anyway? And that just just seemed, seemed to be stuck for some reason. And then I have a choice to make about my family or a different soulmate. What's the page of swords? Yeah, the <laughs> there's judgment. So it is a lot to do with a woman's cycle and also to do with children, big time, and also contracts at work. And it's like, well, I'm stuck in this contract and I can't get out of it until contracts are redrawn, say, over the six weeks, summer holidays, you know. Because you might work for children here like I do, okay? Work for children, right? Travelling here. But... It can be, um, like I said, you're stuck in contracts to do with a lot around the holidays. Now, during six weeks holidays, people that have younger children, obviously they have to either, one, find a, um, a nanny or a... Because um, I'm picking up children that have special needs. A friend in need, a friend indeed, a friend in leather is better. Um, anybody else like placebo? I love placebo. A placebo effect. I'm picking up a placebo Something was false, like false positive, false positive, and it was like someone was false. It's a bit like truth or dare, and it's kind of um, been, that's, that's false. It's like we're, we're getting signals back, but it, they're false signals. It's not true. It can't be true. Something, something in your past was like, that can't be true. Really, I've just seen that friend again. <laughs> or really they came back and it still really didn't get it go anywhere they did come back Steve we did talk or I just see them on the internet or I just see them passing but they were still the same way as what they've always been and that and everything was still up in the air in their life and judgment yeah three might have to do with some sort of Pisces air sign Okay, could also be their mum. Someone could have lost someone here, physically like lost someone. Okay, and I mean physically lost a human being. This is my tears in heaven. Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Wow, I'm going cold with that one. Okay, um, but a lot of you as well, this person that you saw them and you was kind of like, would you know my name if I saw you? You know, like if I did see you anywhere, would you know my name? You know, it's a bit like, say my name, say my name. Say my name. It's, say my name. <laughs> Will you just say my name? Why am I hearing that? Will you just please say my name correctly? <laughs> I don't know if someone has got this pet name for someone or a pet. An actual pet. Right, or like a pet name or a pet hate. And so like, well, you just call me by my proper name. <laughs> and will you stop blaming me for things? But some of you you could have lost a, a or you could have lost a child for some of you. You could have been pregnant and there could have been an abortion. Because that they are children and that's l like a grieving over a loss. So this could be you as a child that either one, for some of you, lost a parent or someone and you're grieving over a loss. Or for some of you, you could have been pregnant, but you decided to maybe not have the child. Or you wanted it, but there was a, an altercation. Two of Cups. You're definitely dealing with confused energy, whichever way you look at it, because you've got two, two, and two. Okay. You could have lost, like, like, ended a contract with a soulmate in the past. Well, I mean, we can go right back with this one, Taurus. You could have lost a soulmate in the past, reconciled, got over it, met someone new, and the same thing happened. The same thing happened. This is why I said about, and I blurted a lot of that out, I should have done a lot better job, and I don't know why I rushed it, because I had quite a bit more to kind of like say, really. <laughs> but 
That happens when you're a strong empath. I, I interrupt people quite a lot. <laughs> but um, you, this is what I'm saying. You can't never avoid personal growth, ever. You can turn around and bright eyes and meet someone new and the same thing happens. Because you just run into what you've got to do, right? So you could have met someone in the past. That didn't work out. Didn't work out with the past partner. That didn't go anywhere. You met a new six of cups and then someone got triggered and there was something that's really like happening spiritually and uh, up in the air and all of everything, you know, the astrology. And it's uh, someone's grieving over a person or like it happened with the same soulmate or it's happened again with a different soulmate. I walk myself straight back in as someone that could be dealing with someone else, which is the double dealing, you know, or they still are double dealing. They're still the same way that they always are. I'm still arguing with a partner that I've got kids with. I don't know. I just feel like there's not a lot of, there's not been a lot of change. There's been a lot of the same. Okay. So show me presently of what's going on with Taurus. Presently. Okay. So <laughs> there's Aries. There's Scorpio Taurus. Okay, so these could be what you have for children if you have them in their placements. Okay, but this is like, even though I'm still curious, I'm still blocking you out. I'm still avoiding my karma because I'm confused at the moment. I don't know whether to block you out, talk to you, not talk to you. And someone is still being wound up by the fact that they're very protective of someone, but they wonder why they're not listening to them. <laughs> That's what I said. That you've got energy of fixed signs around you, or it is you, okay? Is is that people will see it as an issue. But because the people add pressure, when you're under pressure as a, a fixed sign, this is normally when people start sitting like this, <laughs> right? Fixed signs, they sit like that. And uh, when I used to do um, counselling with people, and I used to do community groups and stuff, is is like in a, an addiction um, community group of people, addicts. Um, it's still human behavior and human nature. Is is that you can tell people's uh, posture by lying and, and whether they've really got something on their mind because they'll sit there like this and they'll they'll cover up their crown chakra and they'll do that a lot. And normally, if you're if you're grouping someone, oh, okay, grooming. I heard grooming someone. Mm, okay. But uh, on the other hand, you know, you do that when you're trying to uh, gang up on someone and you're talking to them and you're saying, OK, I need an answer. Some people can get uncomfortable and they can do that and then they can do that and they can do this. And, and they kind of like, uh, you know, and they start getting all sort of, <laughs> you know, that's, that's human behavior uh, and something that I used to study. But I've got to go with the, the energy of grooming someone. Because I heard group, group, right? Like community youth. <laughs> Anybody that passed the duty on the left hand side, quote. But um, community youth, you might be a youth worker and do this with kids, right? Because I heard community youth, like youth support, used to support schemes and stuff. Show me what this emperor is about presently that's going on in Taurus's life. For when they watch it. For when they watch it, the present tense of what's kind of going on. The emperor. Wow, there you are, Taurus. So you've got big connection with Aries is it in your life, that's for sure. Six of Cups, this is all in the family. So majority of these messages and people will be looking for their love life is really, again, what some had for July which was the majority of your stuff that you've got going on is really around family. It's really around family. You know, the obvious point of a lot of tarot is, is that everybody concentrates and wants to know about love. Me, I want to know about life and money and everything that's happening in it and not get confused about what cards are coming out generally for a whole reading that have so much more meaning and stories in them than what it is just about love life. It's not possible. It's really not. Because you're channeling for a star sign, right? 
So you channel for a star sign and you get loads of cards out and everyone's like, oh, I can't figure out what that one is. And yeah, your love life's blocking you out and blah, blah, blah. It might not. It might not be. But presently, you're in a relationship married with this person. You've got family and kids with them here. You have. So you've got step-parent or dad. You could be a step-dad or step-parent. Or you've got an ex. And this has all been going on with the ex to do with, oh, I heard overdose. I heard overdose. Oh, because I heard overdoing it, overdoing something to the point where it hurts. Oh, okay. I, I also heard physical abuse, which would be self-harm. Self-harm. Why am I hearing that one? Mm. So far away. I've got a song. Uh, oh, it could be Australia. Oh, man, away. But uh, so far away. Like, or so far away. Someone's very distant. Very, so far away. So some of you, you might have a soulmate thing and they're just so far away that you're kind of like, well, we don't really get to see each other a lot because they're so far away. Or your children are. Let's see. What's this? But money's good. Again, Taurus, this is banking and saving. There's judgment. I told you, channeled wise, judgment. You've got twice. Two different decks. Someone's going to refuse. This is contracts, though, at work that are locked, meaning you're working for someone that is going to give you a, a substantial contract for the rest of the year. This is for the rest of the year. So that leads me into saying, well, towards the end, stay towards the end. I'm going to do a six-month reading for everybody. Some of it will come out on YouTube. The rest of it, though, the extended part of that will only go to Tier 2. But if you are interested in things, please make sure you stay towards the end. But a strong contract coming presently, ending and beginning. This is like holidays. Judgment. But again, you could have had some of you, the person that returned to the past, and you realised that it really wasn't going anywhere. It caused a lot of conflicts. A lot of conflicts about work as well, about supporting people, bosses, or you could be the boss and you've got people that just don't agree or didn't agree with the way that things are going. Family all probably arguing over certain stuff. Someone also blocking and not really wanting to listen or learn. You know... You've got Scorpio Taurus. You've kind of got Leo energy. This is caring for children, though. This is a care worker or a delicatessen or someone that works for public. And it's been stressing someone out quite a lot because of all of the above, doing all of the above. Stress and worry. If this is to do with soulmate energy and that you've had a lot of issues right, then it's just that some people are like overworked, underpaid or just overworked because they just love work, right, a little bit like me really, <laughs> but um, energy has been very dense over the past, okay, so we're going to try and cover up these ones here slightly, okay, and then we're going to look at, now we're going to look at your August reading, okay, but we'll try and keep these ones out because things will be different over on the other side. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so Taurus. So I pre-shuffled all these cards. Show me Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August. What have they got coming up? More of the same. More same, Shane. So, insane. I just heard I'm going insane. Someone seems to be going insane. Because you've got double-deuced energies. 9 and 10, which is 1, so it's 9 and 1, which is 10 again. you got the never-ending cycle of someone that is going through uh, possible depression. Again, Virgo's energies, they did have that past two months, really. I just heard that I'm lost without you. I'm lost without your support. I'm lost in all of this. Like, I'm so confused and so frustrated that I just feel the odd one out. The odd one out. Like, singled out. You've got a Virgo here that feels singled out. 
you do singled out or single show me Taurus something rising in Venus for August Aries again taught really same cards Taurus and Aries Virgo you got a lot going on and I'm gonna tell you that now you got a lot going on for this month because you got a repetitive cycle of the same you had judgment twice the Emperor and Taurus you again twice the family are very stressed out about a child or about a person in your family grouping see I heard grooming again uh, I don't like connecting with those energies you know grooming <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to put a decent spin on grooming you know if it's that you're involved with a soulmate that's younger as long as they're not like you know <laughs> but um you know soulmate energies um they, they can, you can be younger or older there's no like time gap thing you know there isn't um i don't know why though for some of you i have, I have an uncomfortable <laughs> i have an uncomfortable energy feeling because i'm kind of feeling like this i need to protect myself and i need to like uh like someone's very uncomfortable like they're very like like this and jittery and they're like oh i don't know and that's why i picked that up on a very strange energy of like someone like getting someone to do something that they don't really want to do in life and they're kind of like oh i really don't know because it feels it because there's the ganging up you see oh, I just I, oh, i'm hearing some strange stuff i wouldn't say that one but these two characters here regardless of whether you're cross watchers or this is your sign these two are very powerful influential major arcana cards that seem to be for and against a lower vibed energy of virgo the hermit right so it feels like well i have nowhere to go because i'm going back towards the past back towards pain and hurt back towards connecting towards physical uh, energy of uh, loss and uh, counseling and all of the above and that I need counseling and I need counseling and I need counseling and I need people to help me see my way through it but if this has happened for years that's probably possibly because too much counseling kills you every time too much love kills you every time right too much of something does too much of something and some people they can go for counseling for like endless years and years and years and years and years and years. years. Where's well, Pink Floyd? I've been mad for years, absolute years. It's because you're feeding energy of making yourself think that there's something wrong. Well, there's something wrong. I need to go back and, and get, you know, tablets. Again, they're the same thing. I need to go and get tablets because they've told me I'm depressed, so I need to take them to make me feel like I'm depressed. Even though I they make me feel better. Generally, it doesn't in the end because, I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to advise people on what to do and say about medical stuff. But um, some people need it, some people don't. There's something to do with medication, though, in this reading. But again, we can't compare to these two energies are here where I feel pushed out, separated and alone. And Virgo energy is just going back to do the same cycle here where I, I, there's nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you, so where on earth can I stand up and say anything in court? How, can, how is it that I can possibly say anything that's going to mean anything different than the people here that own the company, have the marriage, and have everything that they have that's strong? Where do I fit in uh, life and where do I fit into this, this scenario? Right here. You've got a Virgo energy that feels like they're always pushed out from the family they're all separated the lost sheep right that because sheep is also pisces virgo opposite right that you make me feel like i'm the opposite to what you are right that nothing ever compares to other family members or you know that kind of feeling <clears throat> so how can i possibly ever approach you when no one can ever really truly ever make up their mind of 
what they're doing themselves. Meaning like this person on the exterior might see it as like, well, y'all lot just can't even make up your mind on what you want to do. So why tell me what I should be doing? You know, I've got things that, that matter to me. And if I don't matter to you, which means that my true feelings of where I, what I whoever I want to be, whatever I want to do, or my own personal thoughts and my own personal Idaho, whatever that is, I have the right to do that. And if what you try to do is tell me that that isn't right, then that's why I feel pushed out and alone because I can't ever really approach to talk to you anyway because we have this altercation, okay? So we're going to go on with the rest of your reading, guys. Uh, we'll be over on Patreon. <sighs> Here we go with a big spiel. Okay, so same as before. Uh, your bi-weeklies, 1st to 15th, 15th to 31st, they will only be coming out on Tier 2. This one will go to Tier 1. If you just want to watch your monthly, it goes to Tier 1 and Tier 2. But if you join Tier 2, you get to watch this as if you would if you was on Tier 1. But for the rest of it, of what comes out through the month, only goes to Tier 2, which is the 1st to 15th, 15th to 31st. The six-month reading, that will come out on here for the beginning, but we'll break all of that down, and that will go only over onto Tier 2, which would be the extended you also get a free personal question where I do a two, well, the last one was a two and a half hour video, okay, where I talk to everybody, okay, just on time, there you go, where I talk to everybody, they leave me stuff and say, my star sign, my name is this, the other person's name is this, can you tell me how they think, how they feel, what's going on, or or whatever kind of reading, or courtroom stuff we've had, and then uh, can you give me the answer to that, and then I just do three or four cards, or five cards, six cards, whatever, and give people the answer to it. it. Took two and a half hours for the video before, and then it's all listed of names, and then you get those answers. So we're going to do that hopefully as well. Um, and if you would like to join the music, okay, the Lucid, uh, no, the Angel Radio, they do come here. But if you want them all in one place, you can just go to Angel Radio, which is the other music that I do. <clears throat> that is also sometimes going to be coming out for a star sign. I think okay, I've got a message for two star signs or something. And I'm going to put this music out for the star sign, okay? And it might relate to something, it might not, but we're going to see. So if you would like to join Angel Radio, you can join this site or the one below. But everything is there for personal readings, a link to also Patreon and all that and all that kind of stuff, okay? But you also get channeled stuff that comes out that people miss over on uh, Tier 2. Okay. All right, guys, thanks very much to us. We really do appreciate it. And let's going to see what's going to happen with the rest of your August. Thanks, guys.